everyone welcome to my youtube channel so here today we are going to deal with uh, technical interview preparation questions so for mechanical engineers as well as quality engineers design engineers and r and engineers caa engineers <coughs> freshers mechanical graduates each and every one does face these questions during technical interviews so in this i'm gonna cover design and manufacturing standards which and all we do use for the manufacturing and design and the basic technical questions which they use for the standards okay and here first question comes what are standards so why do we use it right so the standards are the documents that establish engineering requirements for the products and their practices and the methods we follow to design and manufacture and the operations which we follow for the same right so by just following these standards what we can accomplish so we can lower the cost of production by lowering the <coughs> uh, process loss or uh, uh, design loss sometimes some uh, these things will happen in that so uh, we provide some uh, PPAP and AQP, APQP process over there we define the standards which we need to follow during all the manufacturing steps and design so this helps us to do these all the things so there are so many manufacturing tools available so 3 years, 5 years, 3M, uh, Mura, Muri, Muda and then Kaizen so again there are a lot many manufacturing tools are there we do follow these all the things so let's deal with these things now first one comes is international standards organization so this is uh, popularly used in worldwide so there are more than 164 countries which are using here so here it has mentioned 100 so 164 as per the my knowledge and the research and then so what and all included in this all these standards related to uh, <coughs> quality control will be covered in this so let's say as you can see the example we can consider for uh, with respect to ATM card they will maintain the size for each and every ATM card should be the same and what and all the factors matters over there and uh, ISO mainly deal with the acoustics vibration shocks and hand tools which we use so let's say that is screwdrivers right and the abrasive sheets drills removers by piles and then pliers okay and then manufacturing tools which we produce so for that bowls and the machine tool correction constructions as well as woodworking machines lubricating systems and all it does cover in that and then mechanical transmission components and tools and even applied metallurgy next one is the american society of mechanical engineers so asme we consider so this is the most widely used and it has under nearly 600 cores inside it and then the requirements are like to produce uh, uh, bolts and the screws and nuts we do use the asme standards and even during graduation we refer the strength of materials as well as the other books right into that books we refer this asme standards and then even standard dimensions and limitations gdnt topics and uh, asme y 14.5 is mainly used to define these things and uh, to deal with uh, pressure vessels most important for uh, pressure vessel design and manufacturing we follow this asme standards okay and even uh, uh, pipes and flows uh, fittings flanges and all it considers even fluid flow also it considers so these all the factors and these all the things which we deal with asme and then considering uh, american iron and steel institutes so it mainly deals with iron and steel components so <coughs> it do deal with automotive steels like uh, what are the factors to be considered like weight cost safety recycling and manufacturing so and then shear resistance of wall with steel studs and unwelded steel pipes and the steel plate engineering data it consider 
and then design and fabrication of cold form steel structures will be covered in this AISI okay there are so many standards AISI 3.4 and all I just referred uh, we'll just summarize in the uh, last session here ANSI ANSI is the American National Standards in the Institute so it serves as a coordinator as well as the administrator to generate all the standards like ISO and all so it is one of the uh, five permanent members for ISO council that we do need to remember so this is the uh, very important thing we do need to remember that it is a commission or uh, it is a coordinator and the administrator to deal with all the standards it do cover all the standards so we do refer later and then coming to next one the american institute of steel construction that is aise so it also serves uh, the structural steel industries in us okay and <coughs> with respect to this standards what and all we can include that is uh, steel beams i beams t beams and all it considers composite beams and steel connections wherever the connections are needed over there what are the factors we need to consider it describes allowable stress designs so how much stress we need to know how much stress we need to define so these all the things will be uh, defined into the standard and then standard practices for steel buildings and bridges so that matters a lot for the civil engineers and even structural joints wherever needed how many how much allowance we need to give or allowable stress we need to provide over there so this and will be covered into this and then even load and resistance resistance factor factor of safety will be considered with respect to shear connections and the moment of inertia uh, sorry moment shears and the reaction forces for the continuous highway bridges so all the steel components will be included into the standards and with respect to that reactions load and resistance and the stress allowable stress will be defined into this so we can refer this particular standards to deal with these kind of uh, steel components and then we are uh, just dealing with this one that is the american society of testing and materials so cae fea engineers and all so if you want to deal with a particular material which material we need to use how much uh, for example if you are using steel somewhat steel or uh, aluminium so if if it fails to withstand the particular load at that time we have we do have the different uh, methods to deal with first one we can just change the material otherwise we can just uh, include the material thickness size varies over there so if you vary the size it can withstand the load otherwise we do need to make some changes to the particular material right so in this cases we do refer this american society for testing and materials what they does actually as you can see here they provide the standard test method so what and all the procedures they need to follow for the identification measurements and evaluation one of the more qualities characteristics or the properties of a metal or a material or a product system and service and standard specifications what and all the requirements should be there for the particularly material production system and even standard practices with what and all we need to follow standard terminologies with respect to the materials let's say there are uh, uh, steel standards we refer it as uh, ai uh, the isi 304 is a material then even aluminium alloys will be there there are so many aluminium alloys there are uh, pressure vessels cages will be there so one of sixth grade we can say pressure vessel ma uh, materials low grade uh, steel components so like this they have divided by using this terminologies ASTM so next classifications of the materials like aluminium alloys stuff just uh, separately then uh, copper alloys then nickel alloys and steel alloys like that they will differentiate they will uh, make some groupings with respect to this so this is all related to uh, materials as well as the products and the quality and the system and services coming to next same thing so it does include all the things here as you can see with respect to steel piping and steel tubing and even we consider the swings fasteners so what and all the standards we do need to use 
they will define by using these all the things uh, even it covers paints metals plastics textiles and petroleum construction energy and the environment uh, even it includes the medical services as well as the devices so by referring this ASTM standards we do can manufacture and design these all the things and then coming to next one the American Society of Civil Engineers so it do include all the specification requirement with respect to the concrete right all the civil engineers requirement and then it, it does include all the requirements related to plastics which we use gypsums as well as the uh, steels so cold form stainless steel we use during the uh, designing buildings and all and uh, dealing with the <coughs> structures right so it considers these all the things considered and then comes the aerospace industries association of america so it totally deals with military and the business aircrafts helicopters and heli uh, aircraft engines missiles spacecrafts as well as the related components and equipments so all the aerospace uh, products will be dealt with this particular standards for america so even for us so we do have the services right we do provide the services IT services we refer this one standard to deal with this uh, aircraft or uh, military components and the <coughs> aerospace components right and then it includes all the nuts and bolts and washers white tubes and tube assemblies and uh, uh, what we can say angles tees and brackets flanges which we use to assemble in the aerospace uh, components we do follow this particular standard fine next comes with the aluminium association it just deal with the aluminium uh, all the kinds of aluminium uh, alloys so there it includes all the stress as well as minimum allowable stress and the shear reactions as well as even you can see considering the flanges i beam angles how much angle should be there what and all factors we need to consider to deal with these all the pipes and tubes with respect to aluminium it includes and then these are the few examples i don't want to proceed with these other things so building officials book up building officials and code administrator it do deal with uh, as already told with the respect to civil engineers field all the building constructions like concrete steel wood glass gypsum it comes glazing also it covers and the uh, fasteners which we do use for the <coughs> civil engineering purpose and even it considers that hvac right uh, heating ventilating as well as the air conditioning systems uh, it too includes uh, what let me just show you uh, fire protection system as well as the uh, heating ventilation and air conditioning systems these are the next few of the uh, systems we do use that is automotive engineers society of automotive engineers also has them set up some standards so these are the few standards you just need to remember so during the uh, in, uh, interviews they do ask so what are the standards we do follow so if you are visiting particular company so you do need to know that which uh, material they are going to deal with what they are manufacturing so with respect to that we can just choose which uh, standards they are following okay so i just summarize these all the standards with respect to their uh, applications so where do we use it so let me just uh, deal with this summarization here the first one we consider uh, ai a that is aerospace industries association of uh, america incorporate so that is uh, military and aircraft components as already told and fasteners and the brackets which we deal with the aircraft components so next comes is aluminium association so that already deals with the standards for the aluminium and the its alloys uh, the shape how should be and the what are the uh, <coughs> beams uh, different types of beams uh, i beams t beams it all considers inside it and then next comes is uh, american institute of steel construction aisc so standards for the structural steel as already told allowable stress load and the resistance and the reactions all it considers inside it and we can refer this standard to deal with the st structural steel so next comes is uh, aisi so that is uh, american iron and steel institute it does also include automotive steel so with respect to that cost weight and safety recycling coal forming steel engineering data as well as the uh, engineering data for the welded steel it considers these things and then 
it doesn't consider actually uh, it has the information about these all the factors and then the american society of civil engineers so that is asce so structural steel standards for the structural steel with respect to civil engineers minimum design loads and the for the building and the other structures next one is asme very important so so i uh, this is mainly used to pressure vessels as well as the boilers and then fluid flow piping and fittings and the fasteners with respect to these and then gdnt as already told asme y 14.5 is mainly used to gdnt things and some of the industries do follow this one so even in india also the same thing is happening american society for testing and materials so this is all about the standards for material production system and services standard classification with respect to material products and fasteners okay even you do consider paints and petroleum and plastics that also i explained and then this is ansi american national standards institute it is the administrator or the coordinator for all the other uh, not all the others but somewhat it considers some of the standards it does organize and coordinate and uh, deal with these standards to uh, get some informations so next one is iso international standards organization so most important one so mostly and widely used uh, standard iso so iso 9000 series is already um, widely used and it is very important right now and next one it deals with the quality control as already told and the vibration shock hand tools such as screw drivers piles and abrasives and the machine tools and the machine transmission and metrology coming to the next slide the american standards right same thing i'll just uh, segregate these things with respect to applications right now so in the american uh, countries as well as the some of the uh, service based companies do follow these standards so ANS in the sense uh, up to 1994 and the uh, pre-1994 standards what I'll all it will be included so it comes under ANSI and then ASME very important american society of manufacturing engineers and these are the current drawing standards which we do follow so ASME uh, y 14.1 is for the drawing sheet size and the sheet formats 14.1 m is for the sheet size and format again metric okay remember that and then 14.1 is for engineering drawings and practices and then uh, one more is very important here uh, pictorial drawings 14.4 and the multi views and the section views 14.3 14.4 the gdnt that you need to remember they will ask so even views on Vixorel 14.4 and 14.3 these are the questions which they do ask during the interviews okay and then even a uh, uh, few things we need to consider here drawing divisions that is 14.35 remember this one even abbreviations okay this is all about this uh, SME standard and next comes is ISO as already told it's 163 sorry I told 164 right and then uh, there are uh, two not three members for this uh, uh, organization so it is founded in 1947 and ISO 128 for uh, views and dimensioning and drafting you need to remember this the hunky one here so standards for uh, shipbuilding drawings are these so iso 128 with respect to these all the standards we do follow for the sh shipbuilding and then coming next standards for the technical drawings so all the standards which and all we use so iso 129 technical drawings with respect to the dimension and tolerances remember this one so next one 2016 is for this uh, size paper size which we do, do need to use and ISO 406 1987 is for the tolerancing and angular dimensions linear and angular dimensions 7200 title block which we do create so this standard we need to use so we normally simply just create the uh, title block as we need it but uh, if you are going to deal with the manufacturing industries you do need to remember that we need, we need to follow this particular standard so that is ISO 7200 1984 and for uh, screws and th thread fonts this one iso 6410 1993 technical drawings okay and then 5459 is used for gdnt datums as well as the datum system for the geometrical tolerances 
very important 5.59 and 128.25 is the same thing 128 is for shipbuilding as already explained so please do remember these all the things very important so they will ask the questions on these things so ISO 128 for the shipbuildings ISO 129 is for the dimensions and tolerances and even ISO 216 for the A4 paper size next comes do other countries they have their own standards yes they do have so German follows the 10 and even British follows the BS that we already know Japan follows JIS Japan industrial standard and the Canadian follow this VSA okay and then Brazilian follows a B and T and there are few industries they do follow their own standard in the form of automotives GM and Daimler Ford Honda they do follow their own standard even Honeywell Aerospace percentages like Boeing's and the ATK and the Embraer and the Spirit and the UTC Aerospace uh, I think it's Pratt & Whitney. okay next Honeywell so they do follow their own standards by referring others I don't know how they have made it but uh, they do have their own standards okay they do follow those same procedures same process and same uh, standards and the manufacturing process Marine Industries Mitsubishi and the Hyundai and then we consider the last one services Belkin it has its own standard Siemens same thing I hope it's clear so so in the next tutorial i'm going to cover how to deal with the design process for and all the process we follow how we need to deal with the design process so what is apqp and what are the <coughs> ppam process what are the manufacturing tools 5s 3z kaizen and uh, 3m so i'm gonna cover these all the things so right now i hope this is helpful for you to learn about the standards design and manufacturing standards which do we need to use for the particular industries and with respect to the materials so in the sense if someone asks so which uh, standard we use for uh, pressure vessels you need to say that which one ASME so like this you don't need to remember thank you thank you all for watching please do like and subscribe our channel